Steph, congratulations out there. Not uh, not easy to always play first up. Was that any kind of a struggle for you earlier start? No, not really. I uh, I was uh, up very early this morning and ready to seize the day. So that was uh, definitely something that uh, I uh, looked forward to. Um, I had good night's sleep and uh, was ready to kick it off on the court. Did a tremendous job yeah. keeping up with the demand today. You know, there were certain uh, things that were not easy, but I, I held strong and uh, I pulled through. Uh, Steph, I, I want to talk a little bit about the head-to-head -head matchup against Karen because you have such a successful head-to-head -head against him, 8-1 and one now. What is it about the matchup? It seems you, you read his serve really well also. Uh, I don't really know. I mean, I feel like there are certain matchups that favor certain players. Um, and, you know, I, I really believe in those things. You know, uh, sometimes the sort of the, the chemistry and the, and the vibe that you get from your opponent sometimes feels some, somehow nicer. Uh, in a certain situation or environment against a certain player. And I would call it a matchup. I just, uh, let's say, uh, I feel like I feel like I really get good uh, behind his rhythm, the one that he generates. And I think that has contributed to perhaps having such a good head-to-head. -head. You, you held him to 48% one on his first serve today, and he only served one ace. That's a generally a low number for Karen. Do you... You, you happen to lean in the right directions, or it's a, it's a feel thing, like you said. It's a feel thing, yes. I did feel the serve a few times. Uh, I felt like it's going to come to a certain direction. I was there. I, I went behind the ball, and um, I uh, pulled off a few deep returns. That gave me an advantage early in the rally, knowing that he's uh, with his body weight backwards, which helps me come in, take the ball a bit early, and start opening the court. Uh, well, that's uh, what I'm trying to do, obviously, um, and I'm trying to mix up as well a few times. Uh, I feel like it works, and I'm happy with uh, how effective that is. One of my one of my favorite things about all of you great players who come to sit with us at our tennis channel desk is you really get to have a feel for the energy of what they're feeling in the court, whether they're whether they're feeling high in energy, low in confidence, and um, and you just seem like you're in a great spot right now. What does that what does that feel like, sort of mentally, spiritually? I feel like everything around me seems very much aligned and in a good energy frequency, uh, very stimulating. And I have no reason to feel any negative emotions uh, towards my everyday uh, job. So I'm really happy to go get out there, play some tennis, play in front of amazing, an amazing crowd that you know has supported me here for so many years in a row. Uh, there's only good things to take out of it. I really don't see any negatives, and I feel like that, all, that it also translates into my game, and you can for sure see that energy on court. No negative emotions is a, is a beautiful thing. Are you a, are you a journaler? Do you have any, any practices like that that you, that you keep regularly? I do journal, uh, not as frequently as I would uh, wish. I perhaps do it two, two to three times a week, uh, just to write a few thoughts and ideas of how I can become better as a person and things that I need to consider more in the future. So, yes, I am very spiritual in that part. Uh, I consider spirituality a very strong es essence of, of my, of my well-being and, and, and me generally as a human being. So I try and strive for it. I try to develop it a bit, to harvest it, to, to kind of uh, uh, add more value to it. And for sure that can uh, be very much you know, on the tennis court. When I'm spiritually on a good tune, everything else seems to work. I absolutely love that. Um, Steph, you're one of the few players that knows what it's like to be very successful in the business end of an event like this, especially here. You're into the semifinals now. Um, what what shifts when it co sort of comes down to the final few players? It's uh, small margins, for sure. Even on clay courts, it's small margins. Obviously, depth plays an important factor. Um, just being able to constantly press and, and be... Uh, be fast around the court, uh, cover the court well, court coverage, depth, just co adding constant pressure and adding constant, uh, uh, just generally being annoying, I feel like. The, mo the more annoying you can be, the better. <laughs> <laughs> intimidate, baby, intimidate. Uh, we have an exciting match coming up uh, on Court Rainier next, Court Rainier the third. Um, Yannick Sinner and Holger Runa, they've, they've played some big battles in the past. Yannick is obviously playing brilliant tennis this year. Um, be a tough one, whoever you play. Well, both of them play good on this surface, so it's, yeah. it's tough to really say who's going to prevail. Uh, I feel like it's going to be a very enduring, long-lasting match. That's my prediction for it. Like, we're going to see great rallies and some um, electrifying shot making. So there's going to be plenty for the people today, a great show, and uh, uh, I, I can't wait to see the match myself, actually.
seeing the way that you're starting this clay court season, it, it really gives us great hope that this is going to be a sensational season for you. Are you are you feeling some really great things coming in the next couple of months? Well, the more I can get wins behind my belt, the more confidence I gain and uh, the more I believe, uh, the, more, the more I believe I can do big things this uh, clay court, in, in this clay court swing, uh, which definitely helps, you know. It would probably be a different feeling if th those things didn't kind of go my way. So I try and take the best out of it. Um, I'm looking forward to the next few weeks. You know, we have we have Barcelona, we have Madrid, Rome, Paris, exciting tournaments to be competing at. So I hope I can continue with that mindset that I've been showing so far. Of course, it's a long journey and a long road to get to these tournaments. I'm trying to take it day, day in and day out. Uh, it's important to enjoy the process and, and not rush in, in any scenario or situation. So I'm really trying to focus on that and uh, uh, try and, uh, you know, uh, work on myself as well uh, at the same time. Mentally, spiritually, physically, results-wise, you're looking great, my man. Best of luck. Thank you so much. Two-time champ, ladies and gentlemen. Stefano Tsitsipas moves on.